we're right here at the Nepperham Community Center. That's a voting poll, and as you guys can see, there is lots of people still outside waiting to go in and vote. Cutoff time was 9 p.m. You had to be online at 9 p.m. to vote. All these people are outside online. What I hear, this was a mass confusion today. People are seeing things that they never saw before. They did not know where to go. Some say that they received no communication of where to go. Total madness. Let's talk with uh, Christopher Johnson and let's see what he has to say. Christopher Johnson, legislator, honorable. What's going on? I hear a lot of complaints. They say that this is a total madness. Okay. So, so first did, of all, let me oh, go ahead. These some you know emails that we received, they did not know where to go. They were asking us where to call to know where they should go and vote. So what's going on here? So first of all, I want to thank everybody who voted today, people who stood in these lines, people who are still in the line. Um, it's after 9.30 and people are still making sure that they exercise their right to vote. So that's the first thing I want to say. Second of all, because of COVID-19, uh, we've seen this in other states as well, uh, poll sites were limited from their n regular number to a consolidated number of sites. In the city of Yonkers, that works out to be about eight or nine sites. The problem uh, was that not enough people, according to the Board of Elections, wanted to work um, because of the pandemic, and so you had a limited number of individuals who could sit at the tables and check people in. That uh, resulted in this. A lot of people showing up um, at these limited sites and making lines extremely long. It's completely unacceptable, and. Uh, what I think you're going to see in the in the near future is my colleagues at the Board of Legislators calling in the commissioners at the Board of Elections to ask them why these decisions were made. Um, there could have been different uh, in a different outcome with shorter lines if there were more sites, which I think, in my personal opinion, they could have succeeded in getting. Do you think we're going to have a successful election? So many people stood at home. People did not know where to go. This is just unbelievable. No, this, is a, this is another first. No, this is this is a problem when you have senior citizens who are used to voting in their in their lobbies who came downstairs this morning and there were no machines there and they were told they had to vote somewhere else. Uh, this is a problem for we have a Korean building um, in this city and how are they communicated with where they their new polling location? Um, I have neighbors that went to two different sites before they came here. Family members, the same thing. Uh, this this was not okay. Um, much more work needs to be done to make sure that in the future we don't see anything like this. And uh, some real decisions have to be made um, about the, about how we come to something like this. You don't think the results of this ele election is going to be disputed by many, by some? I think some will dispute it, but the reality is that those who really took their time uh, sent in an absentee ballot, voted early, or came out today and waited in line. Those will be the people whose votes get counted, and, and it, it really is a shame that uh, some people feel like they were disenfranchised today. It's well, unacceptable. Every vote should count, and like you said, a lot of senior citizens that wanted to come and vote couldn't vote. Right. So those vo votes are not going to be counted. Thank you, Christopher. Let me go and see what else you know, people have to say. Thank you for taking the time. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm okay. What's your name, sir? Uh, Larice. Larice King. Tell us what you think about this primary 2020. Are you happy with the way things were organized? Um, I think no one can be as satisfied as they as they want to be, but you know you just got to take the punches and roll with it. Now, what about the hundreds, you know, of senior citizens that were not able to come and vote? Those votes are not going to be counted, even though those people wanted to vote. Mm. So you think the votes will actually reflect what the people want? Um, honestly, I can't answer that question because, I mean, you know, we, we, what everybody wants is, is, is pretty much up in the air. Um, I feel like, you know, the people that came out and voted, the young people, I feel like the young people are, are stepping up for the, for the older generation. Um, I feel like we, we, uh, we as people, um, 
as young people. You know, we uh, we see what's going on in the world, and, and we want to be effective as possible. So, you know, we out here doing it, not just talking on Facebook. All right, then yeah. go and do your thing. You Thank know? you, man. Appreciate it. No, but I, uh, well, usually, it, how you doing? Fine, thank how you. How are you? What do you guys, what do you guys have to say about this primary 2020? My are God, are you happy with the way things? You know? Yes, yes, yes. You happy? Very happy. So, what about the disorganization? A lot of people did not know where to go and vote. A lot of senior citizens could not vote because they did not know where to go. Voting machines were supposed to be in their building. They were not. So how Why can they change up the machines, right? The well, machines are changing. I don't know if they change all the machines, but they couldn't vote. Many of them could not vote. It was supposed to close at 9 o'clock. It's 9.30. 30, yes. I've never seen it like this, though. But, you know, this outcome is different. Tell us why. George Floyd woke up a lot of people. You know, so you be careful with it. Oh, I agree. Woke and, up a lot and of people. I agree. I hope a lot of people, because of yep. that, the way they came out in protest, yep. I hope they came out and vote. Woke up a lot of people. Trust me. Yes. That, that those are wise words. I'm come telling out you. And vote because yep. this is the place where you can change yes. things. Yes, changes. Yes. And we need that. What do you think about what she just said? She You're stole my line. I told her that. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm glad that she took, you know, she, she shared oh, yes. it with you. Oh, yes. And guys, don't forget to come out November You kidding? 3rd. You kidding me? Motivate your family. Honey, Motivate I won't be so friends. late. I won't be this late. I worked, and that's why I'm here late. But it, it would, trust me, that would be the first thing I do. November 3rd. Do your thing. Oh, yes. my God, did you call me? How are you, sir? Evening, how's it going? Doing well. How you feel about the way things are this year, 2020? This is the first time that we see things so chaotic. People did not know where to go. But but the important thing is people are here to vote. But how you well, feel about um, this has been a year of awakening, that's all. I mean a lot of truths are already out there. And this year just got really exposed. And thanks to a very brave 17-year-old girl, America has changed overnight. And it was already bubbling. But then something so blatant and so horrible happened where at the end of the day, no one with a conscience and, a, and, and morality and a spine can deny it. So now there's a reason why, you know, black people's souls are really awakened and you got a lot of white people joining because of the fact that it's just, it's plain old uh, human torture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what this deprivation of all rights really is. So at the end of the day, what you're going to see now is just a preview of what you're going to see in November. No one is going to be disenfranchised. No one's going to be disenfranchised. Now, I don't I don't want anybody to do nothing outlandish, but if people feel like they're disenfranchised, people are going to take matters into their own hands and make sure that their political voices are heard and they're represented. That's what's going on. This is the year of reawakening. And so after, what, the 401st anniversary since uh, the arrival in Jamestown, Virginia, now America's coming to a new reawakening. So that's what's going on. It's a so rebirth. come down and vote. Thank yep. you, sir. Okay. This concludes. Most people are in or about to get in. We have about... Maybe about uh, 10 people you guys can see waiting to go inside. And uh, hopefully most people that wanted to vote were able to vote. Don't forget guys, this is where we do the real changes in the voting booths. Cast your vote. Do not forget November 3rd to come out and vote. You must come out and vote November 3rd. Regardless of where the voting the, the polls are, you must come out and vote.